Hi, this is Mark from Blue Poodle Studio, and uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about Chip and Dale, and of course, uh, part of, I guess, the genesis of doing this uh, story is the recent release of the new live-action film Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's gotten some great reviews, and it's a super fun film, but uh, we're not really going to talk about that today so much as we're going to go back in time and talk a little bit about the origin of the characters and where they came from, but also uh, my own personal performance experience uh, in the role of Dale uh, at a Disney theme park. And so we're gonna talk about that today as well. So uh, so going back in history, uh, Chip and Dale were uh, first created or first drawn by uh, an animator named Bill Justice who designed the characters and first animated them in a short in 1943 called Private Pluto. Chip and Dale are what to store some of their nuts in a cannon uh, that Pluto is guarding at an army base and uh, conflict ensues. But in the first, uh, first film though, uh, they were really just truly animals. They had kind of a gibberish, kind of sped up voice. They weren't really talking. They didn't really have necessarily distinctive personalities, but uh, the film was still funny and a hit and uh, actually ended up getting an Academy Award nomination. Uh, later on, a couple years later, in 1947, uh, director Jack Hanna, who was doing a lot of work on uh, the Donald Duck shorts, and as everybody knows, you know, Donald Duck easily angers and is usually in conflict with somebody else. And so a lot of his, in his early shorts, uh, Donald is fighting with his nephews, and the director wanted to try to come up with a different nemesis. And so he went back and saw this film, that, the short that was made a couple years earlier of Chip and Dale, and said, well, let's... Uh, let's try and use them, but maybe try and do something with a little more personality to them and make them a little more uh, better defined characters. And so uh, uh, Bill Peet, who was another uh, animator at the time, suggested to Jack, it's like, well, let's give them slightly different personalities and maybe uh, one of the characters becomes a little bit of a goofball. And so, and they also got a slightly different appearance. So uh, Chip ends up with the little dark nose and uh, is more kind of tailored looking, whereas Dale with his kind of bigger red nose and his little buck teeth and kind of crazy hair uh, is, uh, is a little bit more the wild card of the duo. Uh, Chip is very much logical and thoughtful and very pretty savvy, uh, whereas uh, Dale is kind of lazy and funny and at times, uh, you know, usually getting into trouble and either he gets into trouble that causes a problem for Chip or uh, it causes Chip need to rescue him. So uh, that was really brought forth uh, pretty clear that kind of uh, dynamic of their characters and the more definition of them was really brought forth in that uh, first short that came from uh, Jack Hanna that was actually called Chip and Dale, even though it was them uh, kind of fighting with Donald Duck in that first film. Chip and Dale came back uh, loud and proud in the 1980s when they were cast a star in their own TV animated series, uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And of course, if you've seen that, you know the our intrepid duo forms their own detective agency and are out fighting the bad guys, so to speak, and helping uh, often their clients or other animal friends. And of course, uh, because they're a little bit smaller in statue, uh, they're sometimes taking on the smaller cases from the po that the police don't normally handle. Uh, so uh, that was their big introduction at that time. And of course, then now we fast forward to the new live action film, which picks up about 30 years later after that uh, original toy series ended, uh, excuse me, look, when that original animated series ended in uh, 1990. It did three seasons of that, uh, of that animated series. But uh, then kind of fast forward to the early 90s and uh, I'm now working at the Disney store in the brand management. And uh, to their credit, you know, they had a lot of training. They had a very uh, big and healthy uh, Disney University that set up training classes. And um, so I was tapped to go on the uh, management experience uh, at Disneyland, and they call it Disney Way One. And so uh, I actually found in my files uh, my agenda from, uh, I was there on October 6th, 1995. And uh, in this agenda, it was a full day, lots of really interesting stuff, talking about the audience and introducing us to the resort. We got a lot of uh, kind of behind the scenes looks at things, including a tour of Walt's apartment, uh, some discussion of the theming and forced perspective used in the park design. 
I did get to go visit the, at that time, fairly new uh, Indiana Jones uh, ride that was just launched. At any rate, so lots of different things throughout the day, fun experience, really fascinating to me personally, lots of behind the scenes uh, experience. But kind of the big finish to the day was what they call the character participation. And so I was with a group of about uh, 20 different uh, leaders from across the company, several other people from the Disney store, but other divisions as well, consumer products, etc. cetera. And uh, we were assigned our characters. And so uh, I was originally assigned to be Chip in Chip and Dale. And I actually had my old, uh, the tag that came off of the costume that uh, I got to wear during that time. And they also then... Uh, give you a script that kind of gives you some sense of how the characters behave and these are tips so for chip and dale they say the traits are they're fun loving they're comical they're zany mischievous silly energetic friendly and lovable and uh just i'll kind of briefly hit the synopsis here chip and dale are two mischievous chipmunks who are usually pestering donald duck mickey or pluto the pair are always engaged in a quest for food, particularly nuts, which they hoard into their hole-in-a-tree home. While they stockpile this food, they manage to make as big a nuisance of themselves as possible, bringing trouble with them everywhere they go. And so you're kind of coached in that regard. You're also uh, given a lesson in how to do an autograph so that you have a, many kids come with autograph, or parent, adults come with autograph books. And so you're signing autographs. And then they give you uh, some other tips, like here's how to perform. So they say in your role as Chip and Dale, uh, you should scamper with energy and quickness. You are fun-loving and eager chipmunk. Patter up to guests with friendly curiosity. Wag your tail in excitement and kiss the children on the cheek. You can play roughhouse and dance with each other, the characters, as Chip looks after Dale and leads him by the hand. Playfully bop him on the nose if he gets into some mischief and scold him with your shaking finger. Finger. As, a day, as, as Dale, treat Chip with admiration, although you are sometimes resentful of Chip's bossiness. So uh, ironically, another uh, uh, peer of mine from the Disney store was uh, playing, was also set to play with me. And I'm not exactly sure why, although my costume assignment originally said Chip, I ended up being assigned to play Dale. And so uh, if, of course, if you've been to the theme parks, you know that costume characters either show up in designated spots or sometimes surprise people. Uh, and usually they have what's called a handler. So a handler is an employee who is not in costume, who is there to kind of guide you and make sure that you're safe and then uh, kind of cue you when your time is up to take a break. Because needless to say, these costumes are very, very warm, especially in California uh, heat of the summertime. And so you're dressed in a large fur costume with the big head. Uh, and um, so uh, afterwards or during the show, uh, Disney is very keen on making memories for their employees as well. And so uh, as a souvenir of my experience, uh, I got this cute little folder that says, uh, you're a star in the Disneyland show. And my handler actually brought along a Polaroid to take some quick pictures of me and my associate in costume interacting with uh, characters on site. And uh, ironically, uh, one of the young girls that I was signing her book for, uh, of course, she kind of looked at the person taking the Polaroid like, why are you taking a picture of me? The other thing that I found funny was that I'm, of course, lining up to smile with pose with children as parents are taking their picture. And it took me about 10 minutes into it to realize that although I was smiling very boldly inside my costume, I soon realized, of course, that no one could actually see me smiling, but I suppose it's the energy that comes across. And then uh, afterwards, uh, a couple weeks later, uh, I received uh, this beautiful folder in the mail uh, from the Disney University. And inside, much to my delight, they had taken uh, portraits of us. So this was the uh, group portrait of all of us in this uh, Disney Way 1 management class for the day. And here we are posed in our full character costumes. And then less frequently seen is the after shot where we all remove our heads while still in costume. And of course then be shown, uh, here we are as the people in pose. So it was a great experience. And I guess uh, a really very memorable and a key part of my experience there. And um, you know, I guess if I have a lesson from this, 
It's just that, uh, you know, Chip and Dale are small, but they're determined. And uh, whatever challenges you're facing in life, keep going uh, and don't give up because you can ultimately win. So thanks again for joining us today. Don't forget to follow our Bluetube channel uh, here on, uh, excuse me, our Blue Poodle Studio channel on <laughs> YouTube, as well as be sure to like us on uh, Instagram and Facebook. So thanks again today. We'll see you again soon.